You writing this down? Yeah? Good. Yeah. The Santos family killed my parents. But I don't hold that against Danny because he didn't have anything to do with it. He's been real good to me. Him and Michelle both. Even when I didn't deserve it. Yeah. Danny gave me a second chance. A chance to prove myself. And that's what you guys need to give him. You won't be sorry if you do. Because Danny Santos will make a great mayor. <sighs> okay, you got me a little worried. A little worried there. <laughs> Not me. I need something for you. All right, uh, folks, I think you got what you needed to hear. Danny has to leave to meet his supporters, okay? That was, uh, I'll tell you, that kid's good to have around. Yeah, well, don't make me say oh, I told you so. Man. Oh, no, I know, I know. It was my very beautiful, very sexy, very brilliant wife who thought mm -hmm. it was such a good idea, and as usual. She was right. Mm -hmm. May I have your attention, please? I'd like to introduce to you the next mayor of Springfield, yeah. Danny Santos. <laughs> He's not the only one, so come on. Come on over. Uh, Danny! Yo, excuse me. Minute of time? Yeah, I'll see you later. Hey. Sure, what's up? Oh, hi, Alexander. Uh, first, big thanks for letting us do this here. Oh, please. Hey, my pleasure. You can do something for me now. Okay. okay. Look at those guys over there. You recognize any of them? Um, yeah, the, the guy in the blue shirt. He, he owns the bodega on 4th and Clemens. Excellent. Good memory. They are all, all these guys are small business owners in the area. Right? I mean, they're such small fish, it's probably the first time you've crossed paths with us. There are no small fish. Every boat counts. Right, Ozzy? <laughs> exactly. And they appreciate all the good you've done for them and their bottom lines. And they like to return it with their support. Uh, I'm on so, top of it. I got it. Thank, Thank you very much. Um, thanks. Uh, you're wondering why I'm so suddenly pro-Santos. Well, you do have a reason or two to hold a grudge against me. Maybe. But I care about the neighborhood. And if you do for the town what you did for those people, you'd be a damn fine mayor. Go fish. Thank you. Hey, yourself. So, did you see the interview? Yeah, I sure did. Uh, uh, great. Hi. You <laughs> think? Yes. Yeah. Came across really well, you know. Clear headed, decisive. All right, well, forget about all that. How did I look? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you look wonderful. Still so much. Beautiful. I still, I can't quite understand that you're going to be the, you know, the next first lady of Springfield. I am so proud of you. Well, I hope that that's true. That's the second time in as many days you've doubted my life. I was talking about Danny running for mayor because you were so worried that it was going to wreak havoc on my personal life. My comment had nothing to do with the Marianne Carruthers thing. Why are you bringing her up again? Because you did. Uh, Michelle, hey, great interview. Thanks, thanks. You know, when you're first lady of Springfield, I get to do the catering, right? You know, let's just see if Danny gets elected first, fun. Absolutely. You know, the, uh, there was a uh, reporter wanting to talk to you over there. Which one? Uh, that one over there. Okay, duty calls. Steady. It went pretty well tonight, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so far, yeah, sure. I, um... I don't know, Ed doesn't seem too thrilled that I'm running, and Ross doesn't seem to be too excited about it either. Ross, I'm surprised. Why? I know, I don't know. He's always been really good to me and Michelle. Yeah, yes, and yes. when you and I were jammed up with the feds, oh, well, he was the man, of course. I don't know, maybe I did something to rub him the wrong way. Well, I don't know what. Let's, let's, let's get used to it. I mean, this is it's where it all starts, you know? What? Well, the only favors, mean? having to make sides. You know, I mean, this is... Something different yeah. now. Now you gotta you gotta build consensus. You know you can't just tell people what to do. You gotta compromise a little, right? <laughs> right. Compromise. Okay. Exactly. Oh, you Danny tell me how to is compromise. great at compromising. Well, See, whenever right? I want something, he compromises and says yes. <laughs> okay. So on that <laughs> note, I'm gonna. You guys take care. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. okay right? Bye. 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 So, oh,
Oh. Something for you. Why aren't you wearing one yet? Oh, Come sorry. on. All right. That was a pretty good night. It was a great oh. night, don't you think? Yeah. You want to go outside and make out? Or wish on a star? Or something um, like that? Yeah, I already did that. And I got what? everything that I wanted. I got everything I wanted when you came back to me. I guess we're pretty lucky then, aren't we, Mrs. Bunker? Mm -hmm. You bet we are, Mrs. Bunker. Thank you.